It's House Bill 1216, and it is the uh, current session version of House Bill 1516, which passed unanimously in the House last session. And what it allows for is it provides civil immunity for first responders and Humane Society police officers to actually break into a vehicle to rescue a pet in distress. Uh, it sets standards, so when the first responder gets there, they need to take a reasonable amount of time to try and find the vehicle owner if they can. Um, if they can't find the vehicle owner, they can take whatever steps they need to to rescue the pet. Um, they're also required to leave a conspicuous note on the vehicle that they have the pet, and they're required to take that pet to a vet um, to get the proper care. Go sit in your car, turn off the air conditioning with the windows up, you know, on a day like today, and see how quickly your car warms up. You know, and the difference we have as humans is we're able to make that 911 phone call. You know, we're able to call for help or put the windows down or turn on the air conditioner and get out of the car. Your pet is not. And I mean, this, this happens in minutes. Your, your dog or cat could be dead in six minutes in your vehicle in this type of weather. It also does something pretty important. I think it drives the awareness of this issue because there's many great pet owners that really just don't recognize the temperature change and the impact it could have on the pet. So they park in the shade, they crack the windows, I'm running the store for 10 minutes, everything will be fine. Well, 10 minutes later, your pet could actually be dead or could have life altering injuries. So that, that's really, it's the awareness issue, but it's also making sure our first responders have the proper protocols as well as protections within the law.